Namaskar. I was reading my Twitter timeline and I saw a BBC report. Never. <laughs> BBC reports are never good about India. They want to find something or the other and play it out. And this one said that India has missed its vaccination target of vaccinating all its adult population by the end of or the 21st of December or something like that. December, let's say December 2021. Fine. So did the world stand still while people are being vaccinated? Did we not have a second wave? And then now, don't we have another wave, which is Omicron? What is the surety that the vaccines that were prepared 12 months ago are going to be effective against Delta or Omicron? So when such doubts come, just looking at one number and saying that India missed the target, is frankly trying to look for something to find fault with. I don't understand this mentality. Right from the heading onwards until the whole article, it completely omits to mention the fact that the goalposts have changed. Remember, US has a worse track record than India, and US started vaccinating its population before India did. So how can you explain what is happening in the United States? It's the same problem. Pfizer is not very sure that their booster shot is effective against Omicron, which is why you're seeing an outbreak and all time high uh, at all time high rates in the United States as Omicron starts spreading. Thankfully, it is kind of benign. So hopefully people can just stay at home, uh, take rest and then get cured. But this again underlines the fact that when the goalposts are changing, it is difficult to try and say that you shall go and get vaccinated. I'm not sure that it is going to stop you from getting this COVID in case the variant changes. The important thing here, the thing that many of these media magazines, media outlets keep omitting to mention is we have not found the source of all these viruses. China will not admit that it came from Wuhan lab. They still want to say that it came from one of their uh, meat markets. And, and again, that's also in Wuhan. I, I don't understand what is the big deal. If you say that it came from a lab, so, so, so be it. Now it is now coming out that the United States had, in fact, funded part of that research to get gain of function, which is essentially trying to use a virus as a bioweapon. So let us try and find out where it started, because unless you find out where the origin of this virus is, you cannot solve this thing completely. Pfizer is not so sure its booster works on Omicron. Moderna thinks that its booster works on Omicron. And, and in India, only 60 plus people with comorbidity, which means they are highly susceptible, are the ones that are getting the booster shot. Because no one is really sure how effective a booster shot is against the new variant Omicron. So to try and make it paint as if India has missed a huge target is frankly unfair. And BBC should look at its own country's record. United Kingdom is reeling from one of the highest incidents of um, COVID right now. So what about that? Why are you trying to look at somebody else and say, oh, that person hasn't done their job? What about your country? You are an advanced nation. You have a healthcare that covers everybody who lives in the United Kingdom. So basically, you could have warned everyone to say, ah, Omicron has just started from South Africa. It will be here in seven days time. No, we already know what the booster for that is. Come take it. It doesn't happen that way. You got to do your work. You have to make sure that the trials work out fine. So there is a fair amount of time before you can come up with a solution. Like it or not, this virus is here to stay. We have to take precautions for a while until we can be sure that the world is rid of it. So writing this kind of stuff, tripe, is really not the way BBC should uh, go. I don't think they are going to gain any new readers. In fact, if once they see, start reading the fact, people may get turned away from this rubbish. Please don't say that you are the most reliable news outlet in the whole world. You were. I don't know when though, long time ago. Right now, it is just venom that is being spewed at India. Thanks for watching. 
do like share and become a member of our youtube channel namaskar Thank you.